ocean advocate and swimmer Lewis Pugh is joining me on Skype all the way from London. Now he's just made a major announcement about his next adventure and is going to tell us about that today. Lewis, thank you so much for joining us so early in the morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, so you're taking on this crazy adventure. You just announced it yesterday. You're, gonna, you're planning to break five records swimming in the Antarctic. Now, how are you going to do this? So uh, next week, I'm going to sail down to Antarctica and I'm going to undertake the most southern swims in the world. So I'm going to undertake five swims. They're in the most incredible part of Antarctica, which is called the Ross Sea. Uh, the Ross Sea is the most pristine ecosystem left on this planet. And I'm doing it to try and uh, get world leaders to understand the importance of setting aside this area as a marine protected area, which is effectively a national park down in Antarctica. Now, tell me about these five swims. How long are they going to take you? What kind of conditions are you going to be in? The water down in Antarctica is icy cold. It's even below zero. Oh my uh, I expect the water to be somewhere between zero and minus 1.7 degrees centigrade, so very, very cold. Uh, there'll be five swims. One will be on a place called Campbell Island, which is halfway between New Zealand and Antarctica. The second, a place called Cape Adair. This is one of the biggest penguin colonies in the world. 500,000 of Delhi penguins all at this Cape. The next one will be down at a place called Cape Evans. The great explorer, Captain Scott, he left from there when he walked to the South Pole. And his hut, which he left 100 years ago, is still there. And that's where I'll be preparing. Next one, in a place called the Bay of Wales, named by Ernest Shackleton just because of the huge proliferation of whales which they found there. The last one on an island called Peter the First Island, which is one of the most remote places on this planet. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely beautiful and absolutely freezing. How are you going to prepare to swim in these conditions? Uh, you know, when I, when I train for these uh, swims, obviously you've got to get the body right. So I train in very, very cold water. I do a lot of swimming in Nuatuk, uh, and then I do a lot of ice baths. So it's important to get the body right. It's also important to get the mind right. You need to be mentally prepared for, to do these things. It's, it's a huge onslaught when you dive into icy cold water. But perhaps the most important thing is to get the heart right. And what I mean by that is that, that the reason why you're doing it is is sound inside you and you know I'm doing it to, to, to try and get this marine protected area set up and uh, when you have a driving purpose things become a lot easier. Yeah they definitely do now I want to clarify for our audience you're actually not going to be doing this swim in any kind of protective gear you're just doing it in a regular speedo. Yes I, I, I swim in, in, in just a speedo. Oh my God. The reason why I do that is just because it just gets gets so much attention. You know, somebody yeah. swimming down in Antarctica amongst the leopard seals, amongst the killer whales and the icebergs gets a lot of attention. And that's, you know, that's the reason why I'm doing this swim. I'm trying to get the, the world leaders. This is President Putin, President Obama, David Cameron, 24 leaders I'm trying to get to agree to setting aside this area as a marine protected area.